Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Sim. I'm a South African that is currently living in Scotland and I make a bunch of videos about living in the UK as a South African expat. In today's video, we are going to talk about moving to the UK from South Africa or basically any other country and why it might not always be the right decision for everyone. It's a massive decision and I feel like sometimes moving or immigrating can be glamorized and don't get me wrong, it's a really exciting adventure but there are parts that are a lot more difficult than it might seem and it's definitely not like it is portrayed in movies and TV shows where you will just bump into people in the middle of the road and suddenly you become best friends. Personally, it has always been my dream to move to the UK, so this is kind of like a dream come true to me. But that's not the case for everyone. Some people might be moving to the UK for job opportunities or maybe for safety reasons, which are really good reasons to move. But before you do it, I would say that you need to consider a few things that I'm going to talk about in this video. First up, I'm just gonna keep it real, when you move to the UK, you might experience a lot of loneliness. Especially in the times that we've been living in, it's really difficult to meet new people, especially if you don't have any connections in the new town or city that you are living in. Maybe you are in a position where you actually know someone in the town already, so you can kind of just join their friend group. But I know that's probably not going to be the case for most people and it also wasn't the case for me. So I would just say that you need to be prepared for the fact that you will probably find yourself doing a lot more things by yourself. Next up, I would say that it's probably not a good idea to move to the UK if you're not willing to embrace the culture here. I'm not saying that you need to forget your roots and change who you are, but you need to be willing to adapt to the culture here and embrace a new way of living. Don't have a judging attitude about everything and don't think that everything is weird. Just keep in mind that you are technically the guest in the country, so you need to be respectful to their cultures and their way of living. If someone came to South Africa and they were just saying negative things about the country the whole time, I would also get annoyed and offended. You can also embrace the culture in smaller ways, like paying attention to what topics people like to talk about here. Just a tip, the weather is really high on that list. Also pay attention to what people like to do for fun, what shows people are currently watching. Once you start paying attention to those things, you'll be able to bring it up in conversations. And because the topics will be relevant, it will be a lot more relatable and you'll start to build connections a lot easier. Whereas if you don't really embrace the culture and pay attention to these things, you might struggle a bit more to build relationships and and you might start feeling very isolated. The next point is kind of related to what we just discussed about embracing the culture. You also have to be willing to change your lifestyle. Living in the UK is not the same as living in South Africa. I've mentioned in videos before that the houses are a lot smaller, the rent is a lot more expensive, you might have less disposable income than what you were used to in South Africa, but if you're just going to focus on those negative things, you're going to miss all the positives of moving to the UK. The next one is quite a big one for me and it's one of the only reasons I would actually ever consider moving back to South Africa and that is homesickness. I know homesickness seems like a super obvious one and one that you probably already know that you will have to deal with because that's just part of moving away. But even though it's obvious, I still wanted to include it because like I said, it's a really big one for me and I've realized that it's actually a feeling that's never gonna go away. There's a lot of moments where I feel like I'm missing out on spending time with people that are the most important in my life, like my family and friends. And I don't wanna get too depro, but it does create like this underlying sadness that never really goes away. And that's why I think it's really important that this must be something that you really want to do and it has to be something that you want to do for yourself. Let's get into the weather. This is probably one of the main things that we always hear about moving to the UK. The weather sucks. 
But when I lived in England, I actually thought it wasn't too bad. We had a really nice warm summer and the winter was cold, definitely a lot colder than South Africa, but it was still manageable. However, now that I live in Scotland, I would say that that's changed a bit for me. Scotland is definitely a lot colder than England and the maximum we have over here is about 20 degrees. Now, if you're from South Africa, you will know that the maximum for summer is about 10 degrees warmer than that. So I definitely don't consider 20 degrees as summer weather. And even though England wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, it's kind of obvious that you will still have more colder periods than in South Africa because the winter and summer months are switched. I'm kind of managing this by just changing my wardrobe because if you dress for the weather it's a lot easier to deal with it and also just accepting the rain is a big part of living in the UK. But if the cold rainy weather is going to be a problem for you and you don't think it's something that you're going to get used to you might have a bit of a problem. Relating to this, we also need to talk about the lack of sun. Obviously, with more rain comes less sun, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that the sun sets around 4 p.m. in the winter time. That means that the winter months are really dark over here. It also makes it hard to go out after work to exercise because it feels like it's already so late. One thing I will say is that the summer months do make up for this because then sunset is only around like 10, 9 p.m. So if you can just hold out for the summer months, you'll be okay. But if you're someone that really needs sunshine, you might want to invest in one of those sad lamps before you move over. You might also struggle a bit if you don't want to speak English all the time. Obviously English is kind of recognized as the world language because most people can understand it, but it might not be your first language. And even though you might be able to understand it and speak it, it might still feel more like a hassle to you or it might even make you feel uncomfortable. I can definitely relate to this because my first language is Afrikaans. So English is not something that I'm always completely comfortable with. And I have a lot of moments where I feel like I can't really express what I want to say or I feel stupid about some taints or word that I got wrong. But I will say that it gets a lot easier to deal with that and at a point I just kind of stopped caring about it. Of course, the more you speak a language and the more it's around you, the easier it gets. So I wouldn't let that deter you from moving to the UK, but it completely depends on how you think you would be able to cope with it. The last thing you need to consider is whether you are someone that copes well with change. I wouldn't actually expect someone to consider moving to the UK if they already know they don't do well with change, but maybe you are in a situation where you feel like you have to move. I think it's really brave to still go through with it even though you know it might be harder for you to adapt, but maybe you haven't even considered how you deal with change yet, so that's maybe also something to just be aware of. It is really a life-changing decision because every part of your life will change. Some changes are good, some changes are difficult, and in the end it's going to depend on how you manage it. I want to end off this video by just mentioning that most of these things on the list are controlled by your mindset and your willingness to embrace the move. Personally, I believe in seeing as much of the world as possible because I think it makes us more well-rounded, it makes us more understanding and open-minded. I, however, totally understand that that's not everyone's view. And if there was something on this list that maybe made you feel like, mm, I'm not sure if this move is for me, that's totally fine. My advice would be to just explore those emotions and understand what you can cope with and what you can't because every person has their limits and in the end this decision needs to be yours and it needs to be a decision that will actually bring you joy because you are the person that's going to have to leave everything behind and start a new life. 
that's where I'm gonna end off today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful in some way. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up down below because that really helps my channel. And if you want to see more tips and even videos about what life is like here in the UK, remember to subscribe because I post a new video every week. Thank you again for watching and then I'll see you guys in my next video.